For what purpose does the gentleman from California rise? Mr. Speaker, I have an amendment at the desk. The clerk will designate the amendment. Amendment number 63, printed in the congressional record, offered by Mr. Nunes of California. Pursuant to House Resolution 552, the gentleman from California and a member opposed will each control five minutes. The gentleman from California. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, today it's been 628 days since me and many of my colleagues requested for this Congress to take action to avoid collapse of civil society in the San Joaquin Valley. Only three months ago, I again warned Congress that an economic catastrophe was looming. Despite this warning, the leadership of this Congress sat back and did absolutely nothing. The result, 40,000 workers laid off, unemployment nearing 20%, with some Valley communities nearing 50%. This man-made drought in California is a direct result of this government's action to protect a three-inch minnow. The situation has now been compounded by a recent Obama administration action that now blames cities and farms in California for the plight of the killer whale. This is absolutely absurd. What is wrong with this government? We are starving people to save the killer whale now. This highly controversial opinion was rushed into print by the Obama administration without public comment or debate. This is a clear violation of the Endangered Species Act and has since been challenged in court. Nevertheless, the Obama administration, just like the captain of the Titanic, declared full steam ahead and mandated further reductions in California's water supply. This has caused water shortage to spread not only in the San Joaquin Valley, but now to Los Angeles and even to San Diego. The Democrat Congress is directly responsible. You were warned, you failed to act, and now this Congress must accept the responsibility for their actions. A government that cannot provide water is a government that has failed. Throughout history, dictators like Zimbabwe's Robert Mugabe have used water as a weapon to starve their enemies of water. But what we've never seen in history is a democracy starving its own people of water. Mr. Speaker, my constituents are not enemies of the state. Quite honestly, offering this amendment today is the worst of all options. But because of the actions of this Democrat majority, I had no other choice. They have refused to allow debate on this issue or even a vote on a bill that would end this crisis for good. This amendment is a small step in a long process that must be made to build a case that this Congress has failed its constitutional duties to provide for the general welfare of its citizens. And Mr. Speaker, unfortunately, I have, this is a bipartisan amendment. I would urge support of this amendment. Uh, my colleagues, Mr. Cardoza and Mr. Costa, have been very helpful in drafting this amendment. Uh, so I hope that the Congress will adopt, and I reserve the balance of my time. I thank the Chairman for, uh, for yielding, and I would hope that members would oppose this amendment. This amendment makes nothing, nothing better. I appreciate the frustration of my friends who live in the Valley and undergoing very serious economic times. But the fact of the matter is to suggest now to throw out this biological opinion makes nothing better. Now you have a situation where the Bureau of Reclamation that's trying to deal with these problems would lose its consultative agency in, in, the, in the Marine Fisheries Agency. And as a result of that, they could not go forward with another biological opinion, which you may or may not want. But what we would be is we'd be stymied in the ability, as, as was suggested in this opinion and by the court, the ability to look for other mechanisms that we can use instead of just turning to the idea that you're going to reduce the pumping. But that goes out the door now because you will not have the scientific credibility enabling the Bureau to go forward. So the Bureau will fumble around now for a number of months trying to figure out how to handle this problem and eventually to, for legal reasons, they're going to have to go back to, the, to the, the marine fisheries, and marine fisheries are going to tell them that Congress barred them from consultations. The consultations will not take place, and as a result of that, we have lost a year, 18 months or two years, whatever time it takes, instead of going forward on this, on this biological opinion, which allowed for some additional alternatives, some additional investigations within the Delta and elsewhere in this, uh, in this system. This builds 
on a whole series of reports that have come out by the, by, by, uh, the past administration's Office of Budget Management saying that the failure here is not to look at this, at the, at the water system, the CVP, on a system-wide basis. We keep chopping up in little increments. We chop it up based upon the valley, based upon the south, based upon the north, based upon the delta. We thought we would have the opportunity with good science to start to overcome that and to broaden this discussion. But this amendment will collapse it all back again, we'll all start over again, and we'll just waste a lot of time, and the problems in the Central Valley will get worse for agriculture, they'll get worse in the economy, they'll get worse in Southern California, they'll get worse in the Delta, and we'll have more endangered species lawsuits, and we'll have more complications, and we'll accomplish nothing. It's, 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 it's bold in its approach, it's destructive in its results. Mr. Speaker, uh, excuses, excuses, excuses. This is what we've had. My entire career in Congress is more and more excuses. And I appreciate the gentleman that spent three decades in this body systematically destroying the Valley's economy. And so to hide behind the courts, to hide behind the bureaucracy, to hide behind the Obama administration, it may sound good to the gentleman from California. But the reality of it is there are people living in their cars. People don't have food. Food banks are out of food. Workers are trying to have work. Farmers are going bankrupt because of the actions that Mr. Miller has spent his entire career taking. It's okay. It's okay to value fish. That's okay. But understand that you're starving families while you value the fish. It's unfortunate. Mr. Speaker, I appreciate my colleague's support of this uh, amendment. I reserve the balance of my time.